Water is the primary medium through which we will feel the effects of climate change. Asia and the Pacific is already home to more than 40% of the globe's calamities and 84% of the people they affect. Socioeconomic growth and developments in the region are putting additional pressure on water quantity, quality, and safety. For example, in West Bengal, one of the most climate vulnerable areas on the planet, reliance on groundwater has left millions of people at risk from arsenic and fluoride contamination. In Guaredhu Island, one of almost 1,200 that make up the nation of the Maldives, residents are at the constant threat from the changing climate and encroaching water. The island is shrinking by the year as soil erosion and rising oceans threaten its survival. Water demand in Uzbekistan is rising due to population and economic growth, while supply is decreasing due to climate change. In Ulal, India, the safety and livelihood of its communities are threatened by shoreline erosion. With the impact of climate change likely to increase in the coming decades, focusing on resilient water management has become extremely urgent and central to climate adaptation. Are you water resilient? RU Water Resilient is a dedicated technical assistance platform to support developing member countries become water secure and resilient. It is a bottom-up initiative tailored to the individual needs of the developing member countries, water entities, and policy makers. RU Water Resilient aims to achieve water security and resilience by analyzing gaps, needs, and opportunities and building the capacity and resources to meet them through innovative solutions. The government of West Bengal, with the assistance of Asian Development Bank, is implementing a project to provide self-sustainable 24 by 7 water to its people. Through satellite imagery, potential water shortage sites or natural reservoirs are identified where water can be directed during the monsoon season, reducing flood impacts and damage while providing water supply during the dry season or periods of drought. The strategy introduces smart water and other similar digital technologies to help monitor and account for water use and consumption. New innovative forecasting systems will also be coming in play in the coming years. This will help Uzbekistan monitor the flow of water of major rivers, including extremes of flood and drought. The problem of coastal erosion at Ulal was quite acute. Communities were losing their land, property, and port operations also faced a threat. The solution which we designed was quite innovative. The realignment of existing breakwaters, construction of offshore reefs, and inshore berms in tandem resulted in beach development Stable RU Water Resilient includes a collaborative platform and hub that takes a local community approach to water resilience capacity building. The hub will facilitate coalitions with internal and external stakeholders to collectively build resilience by finding demand-based entry points and integrating resilience approaches in a phased manner. The battle against climate change will be lost or won in Asia and the Pacific. What we're trying to do here is not just raise awareness of the issues. We're trying to create a change. Are you ready to fight this battle? Are you water resilient?